So directly to the point, in this video, I'm going to tell you about six beard myths, six beard myths that I get to hear a lot. And I will also explain why these are myths. So stay with me because today I'm going to convince you to believe me about these myths. Welcome everyone, this is Ayush Nirish Kumar from Kate Beards and I hope everyone is doing just great and something productive with their lives. So beard myths, the main reason why these are myths is because they are based on common knowledge and it is not at all necessary that common knowledge is based on common sense. So let's just include knowledge based on sense to these myths to clarify them. And I know top 5 or top 10 beard myths sounds better but I couldn't reduce it to 5. I had to tell you all these 6. So let's get started. So myth number 5. Your beard makes you feel hot in summer. And though it seems to be a very obvious and logical statement but that's a myth. See in my first video I told you about your beard blocks all those UV rays coming out from sun from reaching your face and neck and by blocking all those sun rays and UV rays it actually lowers down the overall temperature of the face area and your neck area. So. I won't say it will make you much cooler but by lowering down the temperature it will definitely make you feel less hot in summer. Over that when you sweat from your face your beard holds the moisture near your skin area and what it does is like when you are under a fan or you are somewhere out in a hot dry weather and the wind is blowing. So when the wind passes through your beard and because of the moisture that is held near your skin area it creates a cooling effect and I can tell you even an example or an experiment which you can do at your home whether you have a beard or not see next time when you come home after a hot and dry weather and you are all sweaty just switch on a fan and remove your shirt and hold your hands high like this and if you have hair in your armpits you will definitely instantly feel that cooling effect which i'm talking about so beard don't make you feel hot in summer on the contrary side it makes you feel much cooler in summer myth number five beards are scratchy and itchy See, I know many of you are just ready to tell me that you dare deny that fact. But just listen to me. See, I know many of us face this problem and especially when we have a very short beard like a stubble or a beard which is like lesser than a month old. But what is the main reason behind it? There are two reasons behind it. The first and the main reason behind it is your skin is dried up, sometimes becoming flaky too. And because your skin is not moisturized enough, it causes that skin irritation and that itch. So invest in some good and well-developed beard oil and keep your body hydrated, drink plenty of water and you can get rid of that itch. The second reason is like when your beard is very short, some of those beard strands, they curl towards skin, they turn around towards skin and poke your skin. But that's not a real reason. Like in about four weeks, it will grow a little longer and when those strands become longer they won't poke you and that's why it's not the main reason your main reason is because your skin is not moisturized enough it is dried up so keep your body hydrated keep your skin hydrated and you will not feel that problem myth number four the only good bearded look is either a full beard or the look with gerard butler head in 300 or as many people call it this look this See, when people have very less exposure to something, the root of their opinion becomes much narrowed. And the problem arises when instead of getting exposure to something, they start imposing their narrow-minded opinions on others. And that's the case here. On a daily basis, so many people tell me that I should cut my beard like the Gerard Butler had in 300. And there are many other bearded people like me too. And because of that, Many of those bearded people don't even think about trying different styles and different looks. We need to understand that everybody got a different beard, everyone got a different face cut, different likes, different dislikes, different growth patterns, different beard patterns and over that there are thousands of beard styles you can try and this suits differently from person to person. So instead of imposing our narrow-minded judgmental comments on others, we should start getting exposure to things and start appreciating what the other person is trying to achieve. And for that, I am attaching few pics in the coming few seconds of some legendary bearded people with different styles and believe me, they are rocking this beard world.
Myth number three, your beard can get you thrown out of a job interview. It is a misconception that so many people have. And the main reason why so many people have this misconception is because when this job interview and all that all started at that time, people didn't have that much knowledge about beard grooming. They didn't knew about cheek line. They didn't knew much about neck line. They didn't knew how to properly groom it or shape it. And imagine if you are going for an interview, you are well dressed up, your hair are well groomed, your boots are polished and your face looks like you haven't taken baths from ages then apply some common sense to it obviously you will not get a job looking like this but the fact is that it can be argued that beard can help you to get a job in an interview see it makes you stand out from the crowd it instantly differentiate you from the crowd and it shows experience on your face and no matter how many people are going for an interview imagine like after the interview who the interviewer is going to remember a crowd looking same or a person who is looking different obviously your resume and your experience and your knowledge matter but if you are talking about looks beards can actually help you to get a job in an interview i know there are a few places like few restaurants and especially in army they don't allow beard but it's not like it's a trend or they don't like it that's why they are not allowing it if you'll ask them they will give you a proper explanation proper logical explanation why they can't allow beards in the job but other than that it can be argued that beards can actually help you to land a job myth number two beards are appealing or unappealing to women see some people will tell you women like it some people will tell you women don't like it companies selling razors will tell you women don't like it companies selling beard oil will tell you women like it did you get the point the catch in the statement see if you didn't get the catch i'll tell you the catch is it is a subjective matter it differentiates from person to person according to their interests taste likes dislikes benefits so you cannot just categorize a whole gender on such a basis it doesn't matter what kind of beard you have what style you are carrying or whether you have a beard or not it's like clothes and hairstyle it changes from person to person they have different tastes and different interests so don't make it so complicated grow it for yourself grow it for the benefits it brings myth number one beards are dirty and it is must that this needs to be clarified see why do people think that beards are dirty just because there are so many dust particles and airborne bacteria in air and it all gets stuck up in our beards and sometimes we also drop our food in our beard see you are correct you are absolutely correct i totally agree with you but that is the point where people become judgmental see all those dust particles and airborne bacteria and pollutants we are talking about they also get stuck in our skin pores they also get stuck in our hair hair in our nostril and on a daily basis we touch so many things that have harmful bacteria simple like this mouse this keyboard the speaker we touch so many things that have harmful bacteria but do we cut our hand do we cut our hair do we tear apart our skin or do we cut the hair in our, inside our nostrils no they become dirty we clean them over that we should be thankful that our beard catches all those dust particles and pollutants because if our beard won't protect us they will enter our body through skin pores through our mouth and harm our body it's not like if a guy or a girl is growing beard then he or she is not cleaning it and keeping it dirty we manage it like all other body parts we clean them regularly over that it provides benefits too see being dirty does not depend on a body part it depends on a person whether he wants to be a dirty or not so don't be so judgmental bluntly and make comments because you don't know about something or you don't like it we should always educate ourselves before making any point so these were the beard myths which i needed to clarify and i wanted to clarify so if you have any other question or you want to say something or anything just post a comment below or join us on our social media accounts link is in the description and if you like this video please hit the thumbs up button and please subscribe to our channel it really does help thank you until next time goodbye